Hi everyone, it's James here from Production Expert, and as I've said before recently, the goodies from Nam are starting to filter their way through into reality. And I've got another one of those down here in my 500 series rack. This baby is the AMS Neve RMX16 500 series reverb unit. It is an absolute beauty. I've set up a drum session on this Pro Tool system, which runs through the desk, and I've set the RMX16 up as one of the auxiliaries on the console. Now, in this case, what I've done for the demo is just wound the snare drum through. So you're gonna get the snare drum attack and you'll hear the reverb tail and exactly what's going on. Now, I've overcooked it. Of course I have, because I want you to hear these reverbs. They sound absolutely amazing. Now, the original 2U rack RMX16 was A, an expensive beast, and B, quite a rare beast come the end, and it only actually had nine programs. What you then had to do was fork out for the very elusive and rare barcode scanner and handheld remote control to give you the other nine. What AMS have done is they've actually given you all 18 programs in this unit. So what we'll do is we'll play back the drum track and we're gonna run through some of the preset programs and we'll tweak some of the parameters so you can hear exactly how versatile and amazing this thing is. So headphones on and I'm gonna play back the track first with no reverb at all, no processing by the RMX16, just so you can hear the drums. bone dry as the day is long. Let's kick this in. As I say, I've overcooked it. There's no way I would let this track go out into the, into the wild like this. But I'm going to go through some of the presets just so you can hear exactly how cool this thing sounds. Now, there are a few parameters we can tweak in here. The program button allows me to change the programs. Pretty straightforward there. The decay button allows me to change the decay time. The pre button allows me to change the pre delay time. All of these parameters can be tweaked from the alphanumeric keypad, but I'm going to do it all on the wheel because, quite frankly, it makes more sense to me. We then have low and high filters and we can tweak the input, the mix, and the output. If I want to, I can use the up and down arrows, I can use the numeric values. It's all pretty straightforward. I'm gonna wind through some of these presets just so you can hear exactly what's going on. Let's add some pre-delay. Okay. Add some top end back in. Now remember, the RMX-16 was a big deal in the 80s, and it was the one of the very first digital reverberators. This thing is seriously, seriously cool, and it's not always gonna act in a particularly predictable way. Let's carry on with some more of these presets. Make it bigger.
Now I normally wouldn't put chorus on drums, but it can be quite good fun. Okay, so here we are in Echo Territory. You can see here the pre-delay and the decay time are set to zero, so we need to get creative. Lots of fun. Next one. Now one of the things the original RMX-16 was known for was its non-linear reverb. This is almost the sound of the 80s. Very cool. And of course, we've got a reverse reverb. Now, the freeze is where things get slightly crazy. Very, very cool. Again, it's that proper 80 snare drum sound. So I hope you like that brief look at the new AMS Neve RMX16 500 series. Very, very cool reverb. It's not going to be your everyday reverb. It's more your character type thing, but it's got a place in every studio. This is one I'm going to be very, very sad to see go. But for now, my name's James Ivy, and I'll see you again very soon for some more Gear Talk.